So after a few years, Captain Jack is back. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. All right, so it's been a few years since the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and I admit I loved the first one. I just thought it was really cool. I expected it to be like Cutthroat Island. It was actually a badass movie. And it started a whole pirate craze among pop culture. Not very many movies actually influence pop culture. And then the next two came out. Yeah, not a fan. And now we have the fourth installment in the franchise. And is it good? There are a lot of good things about it, yeah. So in this one, Jack Sparrow and a few other people are out to find the Fountain of Youth. And after that, basic, crazy, convoluted Pirates of the Caribbean plot. Now we have Penelope Cruz looking hot. And for the record, I don't think every chick is hot. Just the hot ones. And a couple of new people that you don't really care about, except Ian McShane. Ian McShane plays Blackbeard in this movie. He's looking for the Fountain of Youth also. Coolest villain in Pirates of the Caribbean since like original Barbosa. This dude is badass. He is evil shit. He has really good dialogue. He's menacing. All the things that make badass villains. Props to Ian McShane as Blackbeard. Now in the first Pirates, I really liked Captain Jack Sparrow. In the next two, I thought he was just really forced. Like I've said in other videos, it's almost like the director was like, just do your Johnny Deppisms. Even if it's the same line that you've used in other Pirates of the Caribbean movies. In this one, his dialogue was actually a lot better than the last two movies, not as cool as the first one. And yes, he does use lines that he's already used in the other Pirates of the Caribbean movies also. Like, you seem somewhat familiar, I've threatened you before. I was like, dude, you used that in the first movie, come on. So this stuff starts to annoy me. And there are a couple of action scenes where you're like, that's what the f what's going on? This is bullshit, it's like impossible. And I know it's supposed to be a fun movie, it's not like a pirate can like control his ship with his sword, so that's unbelievable too. But that works for the movie, and this just looked like a sloppy action scene. However, there were some good action scenes too, so it was almost like the movie was directed by two different people, I'll say that. It had a lot of what made the first Pirates of the Caribbean good, and it had some of what made the last two bad. Like for one, there's too many people going after this Fountain of Youth. You're trying to keep an eye on him, you're like, why are these people going after it? Why, why do I care? Why are these people going after it? Why do I care? There are easily two different parties that could have been cut out of the movie entirely. And in the whole climax, you know, it all comes to a head and everyone's fighting everyone, and you realize you don't really care who wins because everybody's a villain. Like in the first one, you had good guys and you had bad guys. This one, you have a couple of anti heroes, a lot of bad guys. So when they're all fighting, you're like, just kill each other off. What do I give a shit? As long as Jack Sparrow lives, he's the one we're supposed to root for. He is it. All the rest of you guys, you dress differently, you're from different areas, but you're the same crockpot of bad guys. So Pirates of the Caribbean had some clever dialogue, and that was cool to see. It had some cheap dialogue, and that was stupid. And it felt like it got back to the old school that made Pirates of the Caribbean cool in the first place, and it had some stuff that made the next two movies bad. But all in all, this is the best Pirates of the Caribbean movie since the first one, but it's not as good as the first one. I would say it's a good time, no alcohol required. I'm not gonna buy it on Blu-ray or anything like that, but I saw it and I enjoyed myself. It's a good summer movie and that's important. So did you see Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides? What's your favorite Pirates movie? Comment below, let me know. And be sure to check out my new blog on jeremyjohns.com. Yeah, I finally launched that shit. I got a blog up right now, I got more blogs coming. I'll explain more in another video, but for now, go check it out. Subscribe, follow, do whatever you do for blogs if you wanna hear more of what I have to say about shit. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.